Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about my favorites for January and I wanted to do this video because I realized that January is almost over and I haven't even like thought about filming yet so I was like holy crap I need to film this right now. Anyways, I have some really awesome favorites for January. Some things that I have not only picked up but just it kind of accumulated over the last month or two and I just they're the best products that I've ever used in my opinion and so I'm really excited to show you. And the first two that I kind of threw in here last minute but I was like oh my gosh I have to mention these. These are two brushes. These are the bamboo kind of brushes from Coastal Scents and I have one here that's kind of a big fluffy kind of flat shader type brush and then I have one that is a round domed brush. You will not find a softer more affordable brush than these. They blend beautifully. They're very soft. They I mean, they're just, they're amazing. I can't tell you how much I love these. And so I've been keeping my eye on the Coastal Scents website for the full set of these to go on sale because I only have three that I bought from Birchbox. But as soon as the full set of this goes on sale for a decent enough price, I'm snatching it up because they are so good. Just, I mean, instead of buying like Mac and Sigma, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to buy these because they're very, very good quality. And then the next one that I have been using nonstop every single day since I got it is this Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette in the original shade which is just this one here and it is just the bronzer in this is so beautiful the blush is a little bit dark for me and so actually it's a lot dark for me but unlike the Tarte ones that I've used if you sheer it out a little bit it actually is really pretty and then the highlighter in this is gorgeous too so um, and then the next thing I got I just picked up both of these things in the last like I don't know couple of weeks or days or whatever I just drew a blank there I was like what am I trying to say but this is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation I bought this because I was watching a video from Tati and she did a first impressions on this and she loved it like absolutely adored this and I really like her opinion and judgment on products so I decided to pick it up and give it a try freaking love it. It is amazing. It is kind of a semi-matte. It's not a completely matte foundation. It has a little bit of um, of a shinier finish to it, but me being somebody that has really oily skin, this works well enough that I can use it. Um, and I just, I can't tell you enough good things about this. It's not, like I said, it's not a complete flat matte. It's kind of, it's called a demi matte, and it's just beautiful. And then the other thing that I recently discovered is I decided to, I think I decided to buy this on a whim because I had always heard good things about it, and so I ordered just the travel size to see if I liked it. Mm. Okay, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is amazing. It is the best mascara that I've ever used. Is it better than sex? Of course not. Nothing is better than sex. Is it better than every other mascara I've ever used, though? Oh, yeah. And I've used everything from every drugstore mascara that you can think of to a lot of the high-end mascaras. And this one beats all of them, hands down. It has a big, beautiful, wonderful brush. The formula isn't quite super dry, but it isn't super wet either. And it just makes your lashes look really big and fluttery and voluminous and just, it's great. And then the last couple of things that I have here is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I just invested in this last month. And I know I'm a little late on the bag, band, bag wagon, bandwagon for this, but it just, it, it's beautiful. I mean, if you guys don't own this, you need to because it's, it's, it's absolutely stunning. So love that. And it smells like chocolate. And then the last thing that I have is I did this in my last haul video, which by the time you guys watch this one, that'll have gone up hopefully. And this is the Catwalk by TG Violet Shampoo for blondes and highlights. And I got the shampoo and conditioner in these ginormous sizes. I talk about it more in detail in that video, but it has just gone leaps and bounds for helping my hair because I just got my hair done blonde. And so since I had a lot of color, leftover color from years of dyeing it in the ends, it still is pretty brassy in the ends. And this stuff has just gone a long way to help make my hair more of this blonde color that I have up top, which I just adore. So, um, and that's pretty much it for my favorites. Um, like I said, these are just products that I use every single day this last month. And I just love them, even though a couple of these I've only had for maybe a week or so. They're just, they're absolutely 
holy grails in my opinion. So I really hope you guys liked this video and I would love to hear what some of your absolute favorites were. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.